So a big question I encounter all the time with my students and church people and even secular colleagues is how on earth can evolution be reconciled uh, with the Christian faith? On one level, there, there is no single answer to that because there's so many issues. There's historiographic issues of the age of the earth and who were the first humans and when were they? There are larger doctrinal issues of image of God and the fall. And then there are even larger issues like natural evil and design and purpose. So there's no single answer, but I think there is is a single approach and the single approach is this the 19th Psalm says the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies are the work of his hands and then it also says the law of the per Lord is perfect restoring the soul so this is the first uh, one of the first suggestions of what's come to be called the two books we know God through the book of nature we know about God through the book of Scripture now what do we do when they seem to conflict and actually the end of the psalm seems to suggest what to do, where the psalmist says, Lord, deliver me from hidden faults. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. What should we do to reconcile? This may sound uh, overly simplistic, but the first step is pray. If there seems to be conflict between the book of nature and the book of scripture, we made a mistake someplace. We're either not understanding nature or not understanding the Bible and it's presumptuous to decide in advance where we have made a mistake. So we ask God open-mindedly, I've made a mistake, help me understand where I've made it.